In this video, we are going to see how to add new Cognito Forms entries to Google Sheets. So let's say you are using Cognito Forms as a form builder application. And here you want that every time there is a new form submission, the data should be added to your Google Sheets. Now how can you do that? For this again, you will have to integrate these two applications and the same can be done using Public Connect software. Here your trigger application would be Cognito Forms and your action application would be Google Sheets. Now how can you do it yourself and automate this entire process? To understand that, let me take you to my screen. So to begin the process, first we are going to type the URL paply.com slash connect and as we do that, it will take us to the landing page of this software. Here on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, then you will have to click on sign up button. It will not take more than two minutes and at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So I'm going to simply click on sign in as I'm an existing user here. And now it has taken us to the all applications page. Since we are doing this integration using Public Connect software, let's click on access now. Now we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. And now it, our dialog box has appeared in front of us, which is asking us to name this workflow. So I'm going to name my workflow as add new cognitive forms and trees to Google Sheets in real time. Let's click on create. So once done, this particular page has appeared, which has got two very important events. So here you can see one is trigger and another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically action is the response of trigger. Now I'm going to choose my first application as cognitive forms. So let's click on this and here the trigger event. What is a trigger event? It is the event that will make your workflow to start. So here the event would be new entry. Now once done, here we have received a webhook URL which is going to act as a bridge in connecting the two applications, Cognito Forms and Pabli Connect. So now I'm going to copy this webhook URL from here and follow the steps given below, which is first log into your Cognito Forms account. Once done, then you have to first create a form, then go to the submission setting, post the JSON data to a website, and I'm going to show you exactly how it is to be done. So here I'm going to take you to my Cognito Forms account. I have already logged into this. Now, now I have already created a form here which is new admission so I'm going to click on this and show you exactly how I have done this so if you want to create a form you can always go to build and enter all the information you want here I have added name first and last then we have the phone number email address and I have given a single line text which is describe yourself I can add more options by clicking on this plus sign and then I can add a lot more information over here so now once done here, you can see post JSON data to a website. So if this is off, so you have to first turn it on, then here submit entry endpoint. So here you will have to paste the URL that you have just received. And once done here, you have to click on save. So once you have saved it, now going back to Public Connect, it is saying that you know you have to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here then the webhook response for this going back to our cognitive forms here i'm going to first click on publish so once we have done that here you can see that it is saying that use this url to link to your form so i'm going to copy this url open in a new tab and paste this so once done here is your form now I'm going to fill in this form so that the submission, the response can be recorded in my Pabli Connect software. So here let's say the name is deal demo and let's say the last name is test234. Now the phone number here is this email address let's say is deal demo at pablitudes.com. Now describe yourself. So let's say I have to write, I am awesome. And now 
I'm going to click on submit. This is just a test demo. So I have just described myself like that. So once done, it is saying that my form has been filled. Going back to Public Connect here, you can see that we have received the response. The form name is new admission. Here, this is the first name, deal demo. Test 234 is the last name. This is the mobile number. Then we have the email address. This is describe yourself. And then we have the date of creation. So once we have received this entire information, we want that you know, if I take you up, we want that these entries should be a part of my Google Sheet. So I've already created a Google Sheet over here, which is Cognitive Form Details. And I have given these columns um, and, you know, and there are these column fields, form name, first name, last name, email, mobile number, describe yourself and date of submission. So going back to Public Connect, I'm going to choose my next application here as Google Sheets. So this is the application and now the action event here is add new row. Now let's click on connect. Once done, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the Google Sheets account. Let's click on add new connect, add new connection and now click on connect with Google Sheets. Here it is asking us to select an account. Let's click on the account with which we have created this Google Sheet and give it the access so that it can be authorized. And once done, see the authorization has been successful, which basically means that Pabli Connect and Google Sheets are now connected. Now here you have to select the spreadsheet. So the spreadsheet name has already been captured and so is the name of the sheet. Now we have to map this information. Mapping basically means that you already have received this information in your previous step. You're just going to retrieve it here. How would you do that? So once clicked, you have to go to step one and this is the name of your form. Done. Now the first name, we are going to repeat the process. This is the first name. Now the last name, again, we are going to go here and this is the last name. Then we have the email address. So if I take you down, this is the email address, mobile number. So here we have the mobile number. So this is the mobile number and then describe yourself. So if I take you down here, it is written, I'm awesome. And then date of submission. Now there is a little issue. Why? Because we have received the information if I'll show you. So the date created is given in a different format. So first we'll have to change this format for this. I'm first going to save this. And now I'm going to take you up and add another action step over here which is a date time formatter by Pabli. This is basically a feature provided by Pabli. Now the action event here would be format date only. I do not need the time. I only need the date here. Now we are again going to map this data. So let's go here, go to the entry date created. Let's click on this. And the form format is exactly the same. So I have to now mention the two format. Let the two format be date, month and year. A simple format click on save and send test request once done here we have received the information in the desired format i'm going to take you down and here let's map the date of submission so here i'm going to go to the second step and this is my date of submission let's click on save and send test request as soon as we have done that here we have received the response which basically means that this information should now be a part of my google sheets going to our google sheet here you can see that we have received the information. Form name is news admission. First name is deal demo. Last name is this email, mobile number, describe yourself and date of submission. This basically means that our integration process is a complete success. But we also need to check if this is possible and successful in real time. For this, I'm going to go back to new admission. And here I'm again going to copy this link and open it in a new tab here. So once done, I'm going to fill in the information. So let's say the name this time is name one, two, and the last name is last two, three. And the phone number here is the same. Then the email address is name last one, two, three, four at pablitudes.com. Describe yourself. I am proud of the person 
I have become okay now I'm going to click on submit so once submitted what should happen this information should now be a part of Google Sheets let's go to our Google Sheets and yes here you can see that we have received this information so this basically means that this entire integration process is a complete success taking you back to public connect let's understand exactly what have we done so this is an extremely easy two-step process where we had added one extra feature by Pabli. So the first trigger application was Cognito Forms and the event was new entry. The action that we had added after that was a feature by Pabli that was date time for matter. Here we had to format the date and finally the action step was Google Sheets and the event was add new row. I hope you do not have any doubts in this. If in case you have any doubt, you can always refer to this workflow which is given in the video description. And you can even clone this workflow and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any doubts or you have any advice or suggestion to share with us, you can always write to us. I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pabli.com and if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.